Hello, everybody. All right, I'm going to see if I can tag my mom. Doesn't look like I can do that. Okay, someone's watching. Maybe it's my mom. Hi, mom. Are you there? Okay, cool. So, <laughs> oh, technology. All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome from Santa Barbara. We are getting a late start today. Um, it's cloudy and overcast because June gloom is uh, still working its way through, but hopefully it will be a little sunnier by the time we finish. Um, today I'm going to be doing a 30 minute workout. Um, it's going to be easy on the joints. We're going to be focusing mostly on light weights and reps. Um, we're also going to be doing everything from either a standing or seated position. So as you can see, I have a chair with me. I also have a wall. So please make sure when you're starting this that you have access to a chair and a wall because we're going to be using them. Um, other equipment that I'm going to be using today, um, I'm going to use a couple of light dumbbells. Okay, so whatever works for you. Um, I also have a resistance band for a couple of moves that we're going to put around our legs um, or around our hands. If you don't have those things, that's okay. Just continue to do body weight and we will go through this workout. Um, I think I have my mom here. Hi, mom. And uh, cool, let's get started. So I have a playlist all set up. It is easy, wait, easy does its strength, 715. Um, the playlist should be there if you have Spotify. Mom, I don't think you have Spotify, so unfortunately you won't be able to listen along, but I did. Um, if you ever get Spotify, I made this playlist with you in mind. So, all right, we are going to start the music, right? Three, two, one, meow. All right, and we're going to start with a warm up. Each of the moves is going to be 30 seconds. I'm going to move my chair out of the way. Um, all right. So we're going to start with YTWA, so Y palms up, T palms down, W squeeze those shoulder blades together, A reach back. All right, Y, T, W, A, Y, T, W squeeze those shoulder blades, A. And keep going, we've got five more seconds, T, W, A. All right, now we're just going to do a knee raise march. So you want to try to get your knees up uh, to end up height if you can. Work on your range of motion if you're not there yet. It's okay. Just do what you can. Getting those hip flexors warmed up. Get the heart rate up just a little bit. And next we're going to go into a jumping jack where we're going to be stepping down, okay? So we're going to step, step. So I'm alternating feet, arms going overhead. Try to keep those arms relatively straight so it's not like this. It's straight arm. See if you can clap your hands up top and on bottom. And if you want to work on more mobility, you can try to clap behind. Okay. All right, now we're going to kick our butt, and we're going to pull back like this. So kick back, pull back. Again, opening up those shoulders, waking up those hamstrings. Got eight more seconds. Then we're going to do a little bit of a balance move. Two, one. So now you're going to stand here, you're going to tap in front, side, back, front, side, back. We're going to open up the hips, front, side, back. My supporting leg is slightly bent. You can tap as fast or as slowly as you want. 
Okay, 10 more seconds on this side, and then we're going to do the other side. Two, one. All right, last move. Let's go to the other side. Ooh. Now this is challenging for you. You can hold on to your chair for balance. I'm not holding on because it's out of reach. No! But you get the idea. Hold on to the wall, whatever you want to do. Got 10 more seconds. Just keep tapping, keep tapping. Two, one. All right, how are you feeling? Hopefully you're a little warmed up. High five, mom. Good job. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna do 10 different moves using either the bands, the weights, or if you wanna use neither, you can just do it all the way. All right, it's all good. Um, I'm gonna have my chair here for some of the moves. <laughs> and, um, Again, if you need that for balance, feel free to use that. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So, for the first move, we're gonna put the band around our ankle, or our, yeah, our ankles, <laughs> as opposed to whatever else I was gonna say in my head, okay? So you can use the chair uh, for support. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bend the supporting leg slightly, okay, just to get a stable base of support. And we're just gonna lift the leg out to the side. Again, if you don't have the band, that's totally fine. But what I want you to think about is keeping your toe rotated in a little bit. That'll help keep your hips looking forward. When you're doing this move, you, you know, sometimes people want to like rotate their hip outward to get more range of motion. Nope, I want you to keep your hips forward, keep your toes slightly pointed in. So we're going to do 10 on each side, okay? Here we go, three, two, one. One, two, bend this knee slightly, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we're going to do the other side. You're going to have to look at my beauty, or hopefully you turn around too, so you can't see. But three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, not too bad. Off to a good start. Who's saying hello? Oh, hi. Hi, Mom. Okay. So the next move, we're just going to be doing bicep curls. So you have two options here. If you're using a mini band, you can basically um, hold them both low on both sides and then just raise up like that, or you can do bicep curls like this. So we're going to do alternating so that if you're using the mini band, you can alternate between the two. Um, if you want an extra balance challenge, you can take one foot and just kick it up like that, okay? So we're going to start with our hands low, and we're going to raise one, down, two. So we're going to do ten on each side. One, those two. That's two, three, three, four. Keeping those elbows into the side. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Nine, nine, are you doing it with one leg on the ground? 10 and 10, shake it out. So how's it feeling? When you do these uh, exercises, you may have a different range of motion. So you may not be able to get all the way down and all the way up, that's okay. Do what range of motion works for you. Take note of where you are, and so next time, see if it improves. Trying to get through the full range of motion is the goal, but it's not necessarily the destination of the whole journey to get there. All right. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do wall squats. So if you have your wall, okay, you can do this. If you don't have a wall, you can always just do regular squats. So the idea is that you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. Um, 
You still want to have the toes pointing forward, but if it's more comfortable to have your feet coming out slowly, that's okay. Okay? Um, and if you're doing a regular squat, you're just going to bend down, trying to go to like a chair height while keeping your back straight. Okay? We're going to do this with our back against the wall, though. So what I usually do is I'll do one um, sort of rep just to see where I'm at. When I'm at the bottom of the movement, I want my feet to be 90, or my knees to be 90 degrees. So you may need to bring your feet out a little bit. Uh, so that's why doing like a little, a little tester rep can help with that, okay? So if we're against the wall, we're going to keep our arms by our sides. We're going to keep our back against the wall. And we're just going to do 10 squats sliding up and down the wall. Again, if you're not, if you don't have a wall, you can hold onto a chair for balance and just do squats. Again, you're squatting, if you can, down to the height of, say, a chair. There's a chair for reference, all right? So we're going to do 10. 3, 2, 1. Here we go. 1. 2. 3. Keeping that back against the wall. 4. 5. Again, think about what your range of motion is. 6. Also, pay attention to your knees. Are they going straight up and down, or are they wobbling a little bit? Okay, look for that wobble. That wobble means you've got some work to do on some of your supporting muscles. We're going to do two more. Uh, we'll do two more after this. If I've already got the 10, I apologize. Doing a couple of bonus reps. Good job! All right. Now, we're going to flip over, and we're going to do wall push-ups. So, even though we're doing this against the wall, thinking about having proper form in terms of your wall plank is very important. So a lot of times when people are on the ground or, or they're uh, you know, doing a plank in general, they tend to sink in like this. I don't know if you can tell, like having my shoulder blades sort of pop out, we call those bat wings. So the cue I always did is just imagine that my hand is right here between your two shoulder blades right on the top of your spine, and you're going to push through your shoulders to make sure that that's elevated, okay? From there, we're just going to do a push-up motion with our elbows going out. You can have your hands slightly, uh, shoulder width or slightly wider apart, all right? And however far you want to step back from the wall, that will, that will adjust the intensity for you. So the farther away your feet are, the more intense it will be, all right? So I'm going to go here, and we're just going to do a push-up motion, keeping your core engaged and your whole body as stiff as a board. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Take a break. So as you're doing that, you want to make sure that your whole body, from your shoulders down through your ankles, is moving as one unit. So sometimes the tendency is to like arch your back or let that sink through and let your chest lead the motion as you go towards the wall. Uh-uh. You want to keep everything as engaged as possible. So that means drawing in your navel, sucking your stomach, bracing through your legs, and keeping your body stiff. Don't worry, we'll get another chance to do that in case you uh, need a tweak the form. All right. What was I doing with this? Okay. <laughs> Bend and extend. Oh, shoot. This is where I can't read my cues. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have one move at the end that I need to figure out. <laughs> but we're going to do some chair moves now, okay? So what we're going to do here are just seated knee raises. So you're going to have be seated at the edge of the chair, okay? And you're going to have your hands on the corners of your chair, and you're just going to raise and lower, raise and lower. I see a comment. Yay! All right. So we're just going to do 10 on each side, okay? So here we go. And when you're doing this, the other last cue that I want to give is that um, you want to keep this bend at 90 degrees, okay? So you're sort of raising the whole leg together, as opposed to just raising the knee up, okay? So think about 
keeping this knee, this 90 degree bend stiff, and just basically hinging at the hips to raise the entire leg up, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one. 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 Drawing in your core. Two, to raise that leg. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Keep that core engaged. Six. Use your core to lift that leg. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. And ten. Good job! Yay! Alright, we're going to go back to standing because I just finally remember what my move was. Alright, while you're here, grab your band if you want it. Okay? Put it back around your ankles if you want. Again, if you do these moves without any equipment, that is totally fine. Okay? So now I don't remember what I was doing. You know, I've done this move a million times. And um, I think I call it something slightly different than what I normally do. And I was like, what is this move? Oh, wait, this is done. Okay. So we're going to do a bend and extend. So you're going to get down slightly. Okay, this is not a full squat. Okay, so just bend the knees a little bit, bring your hands down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kick back and raise your arms up. So bend, extend, bend, extend. This is what it looks like from the side. So the key is... Keep your hips tucked under, your back straight, and when you kick back, you're basically just contracting the glute, okay? So it's not this huge, again, not twisting out your hip or anything like that. It's just a little kick back. And again, if you don't want the band, take the band off. This band just pleases me. All right, so we're going to do 10 on each side. So we're going to go bend, extend, bend, extend. Two, two, three, three. Don't arch your back to get more range of motion. Keep your back straight. So you're going to find that your extension is not a huge movement. This is four. No, I think that was five. All right. Six, six. Try to get your arms overhead. See how far they go. But don't let your shoulders scrunch up near your ears. Keep them down. Eight. Nine. Nine. One more. Ten. And ten. All right. Now we're going to go back to seated. Next time through, we do this a second time. We're going to do everything standing first, then everything seated second. All right. For this next move, you're going to grab your dumbbells if you have them. If you are, if you just have your band, you're going to hold them down, both of them together like this, and you're going to press overhead, okay? Trying not to hit your face, okay? So that's how you do it with the band. So again, holding them together, pressing overhead one at a time. Or if you have them with your dumbbells, you're going to start in scarecrow position, and you're going to raise and raise. Now why are we doing them alternating? One, so if you have the band, you can keep up. But two, by doing it, not doing it together, you have an asymmetric movement and it uh, makes you engage your core just a little bit more. All right? So we're going to do 10 on each side. And this is where I look in the thing and like one raise is lower because I can't keep, it's all mirrored. All right. You don't need to know that. Here we go. One. One. Two, two, come back to that nice goal post position. Three, three. If you notice your shoulders creeping out, push them out. Four, four. If your shoulders keep going up, five, then drop the weights, okay? The important thing is to keep your shoulders down and not talking to your ears. Also, remember you want to keep your back straight, okay? We're going to do two more on each side. One more, and take a break. Awesome job. Good job. All right. 
So this first round is going slowly because I've got to explain these moves. The second move round is going to go a little faster, just so you know. All right. So now what we're going to do is, if you want to grab one weight, you can. Again, if you feel your shoulders start to climb up, drop the weight, okay? But we're just going to hold the weight out in front of us, and we're going to twist to the side. Twist to the side, okay? Ten, ten. Starting in three, two, one, here we go. One, one, two, two. Make sure that your eyes follow your waist because you want this to be a torso twist. Now, if you can only get here, that's okay. Just work on that range of motion. Again, any of these movements, this is five. If you cannot get the full range of motion, that is perfectly okay. Do what is accessible to you. This is seven. But know where you are so that next time you can see if you can get a little better. But don't push this, okay? We've got two more. One more. So, good job. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab that band. Now you can do this motion um, with the dumbbells, but it's better to do it with the band because you want the tension pulling out away from you, whereas when you have the um, when you have the dumbbells, the tension is just pushing you down. So if you don't have a band, that's okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to take these elbows, we're going to lock them into the side, we're going to hold the band around our fingertips, we're just going to grab it, and we're just going to rotate, pulling it apart while keeping our elbows into the side, okay? So you don't want, this is not the movement, okay? Uh, it's just a rotation out. Okay, so let's do 10 external rotations. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. High five. All right, we've got one more move, and then we're going to take a break, and then we're going to repeat everything, okay? So the last move is a toughie. We're going to do jumping jacks. So what you're going to want is you're going to want your... I'm going to move up back a little bit. Just to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to hold on to the sides, maybe not uh, right in the corners because your hands will get in the way. You want to you see that at the edge of your seat. So it's going to be two different things. Your legs are going to kick out, okay, and your arms are going to kick out. Arms are going to kick out. They're going to swing out, okay. So it's like you're doing a jumping jack, but you're seated. Now, if that's too much for you, then you can hold on to your seat and just do the leg movement, keeping your core engaged. This is going to require a lot of core engagement, okay? So you can just do the legs. You can just do the arms. And if you're ready, you can do both, okay? We're going to do 10. Figure out what you want to do. Keep your back straight. Shake it up, all right? We're going to start in three, two, one. Here we go. One. So I'm leaning back slightly. Three, keeping my core engaged. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, one more, and ten. That's it, that's the sequence. Good job! High five! Mom, how are you doing? Let me know. We're gonna take a quick break, and then we're gonna do all of those ten exercises again, okay? And we're gonna switch that, uh, we're gonna switch those two exercises around since I wanna keep the standing exercises together. Okay? So chair all the way, shake it out, shake it out, one more high five. Doing great, Mom, hope you're feeling good, all right? You're going to grab your band and you're going to put it around your ankles if that's what you want to do. You've got your chair here if you need it. So you're going to slightly bend the supporting leg. Your toes going to be rotated inward just a little bit to keep your hips nice and square. And we're going to do 10 leg lifts on each side. Are right, you ready? Here we go. One, 
two, three, four, five. Hold on to your chair if you need it. Six, seven. Don't stick your butt out. Eight, nine, and ten. Other side, shake it out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yay! I'm going to wall up here. It's okay for operation motion as long as you, that's why you're working on it. All right. You're going to get your bicep curls, all right? If you want to do this on one leg, I'm just leaving a band on because we're going to use it later, all right? So if you want to do one leg, go for the challenge today. If not, that's okay. We're going to do alternating. Here we go. You're going to start low. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four, five, five, ooh, six, six, keep those elbows in, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, last one, ten, and ten. Awesome! We're going to go back to those wall squats. So those for alternating upper body and lower body. Again, feet show up at the part. You might want to slide them out a little bit just to make sure you want a nice 90 degree bend in your knees at the bottom of this movement as long as you're going down the chair height. But if you can't get all the way down, that's okay. Do what's available. Ready? Three, two, one. One. Two. Arms at your sides. Three. Back against the wall. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, and up, ten. Awesome job. Flip it over for those push ups. Work on that range of motion. How close to the wall can you get your head? Okay? How far away can you get your feet from the wall? How much more of a challenge can you do? Making sure you're pushing up through your shoulder blades, having good form throughout this movement. Alright? Here we go. Three, two, one. Down. Up. Down. Two. Down. Three. Keeping this, your whole body uh, stiff as a board. Down. Four. Down. Five. Down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, and ten. Awesome job. All right, next move, bend and reach, okay? So you're going to bend, kick back, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Bend, kick back, bend, kick back. Just squeeze that glute. Two. Two. If you start to move it back um, purposely, you'll find that your back starts to arch, which is not what you want. Five. Six. Six. Squeeze that glute. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine, ten, and ten. Get rid of that band. This pleases me. All right. Five more exercises. All seated. You got this. Come on, Mom. We can do this. All right. Seated knee raises. Now, if you want an extra challenge, see if you can raise both at the same time. Ooh, definite core working. Okay. If you want to take it up to that level, you can. And if you just want to keep it with the single legs, that's cool too. But remember, the whole leg moves as one unit, keeping a 90 degree angle. Here we go. Three, two, one. One. 
One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, last one, ten, ten, and ooh! <laughs> All right, grab your dumbbells. Let's do that overhead press. All right, arms like a scarecrow. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, last one, ten, and ten. Put one dumbbell down, we're going right to see a twist. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, shoulders down, six, six, feel that twist, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, one more, ten, and ten. Awesome job! Pick up your band. Again, if you don't have your band, you're just doing this motion. Working on, this is good for your rotator cuff, working on that range of motion, okay? Ten. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Ten. We've got one move left. I told you this round was going to go quickly. All right. You can do it with your legs. You can do it with your hands. Okay, whatever you want to work on. And if you're ready, we're going to do both. Okay? Jumping jacks, seated jumping jacks. You're ready for this. All right. Deep breath. Three, two, one. Here we go. One. Two, leaning back slightly. If I'm in my chair, this is doing just the legs, this is what it looks like. Four, five, six, keep that core engaged. Seven, eight, nine, ten, do one more. Yay! And that is it. Thank you so much. We have done it. I'm going to do a quick little seated. Cool down. How do you feel, Mom? I know how you're feeling. Got a little stronger than I thought. All right. So we're going to take one arm, just cross it over. Thank you so much for working out with me today, Mom. I'm glad we got it figured out. I was worried you weren't going to be able to join me. All right. Another arm out in front. So remember, if you struggled today, had trouble with things, that's okay. Remember to do things that are safe for you. Also, I want you to pay attention to how your body's feeling. If you're feeling sore one or two hours after this, that means you overdid it, okay? So think about what's hurting, and next time if you do this workout again, you're gonna tone it down a little, modify, maybe decrease the range of motion, drop the weights, whatever you need to do, okay? Pat yourself on the back. And so those wall push-ups. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Mom. All right, pat yourself on the back on the other side. And even if you struggle today, don't feel down about it, because remember, you are that much stronger for showing up today, and I'm proud of you, and it's always so much more fun to work out with friends. Clasp your hands behind your back and pull. Hmm. So, 
Cross one leg over the other, if you can. And then just lean forward and stretch your butt. We did a lot of glute action today, which was great. Try to turn down the volume. There we go. So if this workout made you smile, made you sweat, and you feel like kicking a few dollars my way as a donation, PayPal or Venmo, that would be awesome. And if you don't want to donate uh, financially, that's cool. Totally understand. Um, switch legs. Uh, but, you know, share this page with your friend, share this workout with your friend, tell people about me, get the eyeballs, likes, follows, whatever, you know, that helps too. So exposure is good, okay? And anything you can give, uh, that would be helpful, so I appreciate it. Alright, we're going to stand up and just do a little bit of a quad stretch. Work those quads with those squats. And we're going to do the other side. Now, if there's any other stretching that you want to do, feel free to keep stretching because stretching feels nice. It's so nice. And I am going to take my leave of you now because we are past our half hour. So have a wonderful day, Mom. Thanks for working out with me. And um, I hope to see you again soon. So love you. Bye. Bye, Mom.